hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i have come up with you to uh, create a new free ai image from free to that is called playgroundai.com so let us uh, directly dive into this uh, small and powerful method so this is like the playgroundai.com this is very very uh, i can show you uh, this website is extremely useful and it will give you 1000 image per day so 1000 is more than enough and the fun thing is you can commercially use this image so this is a beautiful thing which i have come up across this thing so for for that case what do you need to do you need to type playground dot playground ai dot com once you hit this button then you will come across the signing option then you need to sign up with google account so for your convenience i will show you how the sign up account will show this is a website if i start if i hit the first time then it will ask me to create a get started for free so it will ask me to sign up with google so i will sign up with the google dot once I sign up, I will get the windows of uh, this playground ai.com. Before that, it will also give you some uh, sample tutorial. You just need to hit next, next, next and create your final account. For this uh, background.ai, first of all, what you need to do? You need to create on board. Once you uh, click on this create on board, you will get this kind of window so this window is very very user friendly here this uh, this first step is the model which model you want to do by default it is a stable diffusion excel that means it will, if this website up, upload the latest model then it will come here so you don't need to do anything second thing is uh, image dimension since you are using a free plan then you will only get this thing but i think this is more than enough all right then next is a quality so whatever uh, the default settings is uh, do not uh, change anything and the funniest part is like uh, here the number of images are given so for your convenience you just skip the one image so you will get one if you want to generate uh, four in a one go then you need to create four but i will create only one all right then in the left hand side you will see the two options of board and canvas so i will go with the board next is uh, the filter which filter you want to give okay for example i will give a vibrant glass there are so many filters are there i will uh, go ahead with vibrant glass then prompt so for your convenience i will copy this prompt this is a stunning image of a lady uh, in the ancient uh, time so uh, what i will do i will copy this from the feature will allow me to generate the similar kind of image and i will also copy which re uh, removed it from the image okay so this is nothing but you want to duplicate your image from others so i will copy paste this uh, remove words then i will simply give generate click so that's all so this is the stunning website which i have come across at the fee of cost so it will all uh, it will give you 1000 image per day now uh, this image creation will take little bit of time but time is worth here I will show you how this image looks like oh my god let us see the full image see this is the beauty of this website playground AI this is a absolutely stunning image now this image suppose you want to download so here there would be three options create variation download and edit in canvas I will first download this image and we will try to show how it looks like okay so i have downloaded and see its size is 1.5 mb for me it is absolutely stunning so let me check how this image looks like in my windows system and uh, let us wait for getting it open 
my system is little bit slow because of uh, so many programs and applications my god this is gorgeous see this is the beauty of this uh, playground AI at the free of cost I hope you like this uh, trick to create uh, image now if you want to edit this image you can add it in the left hand a right hand side button called editing canvas so it will take you to the another windows playground.ai canvas in this case you will get a different options to edit your image for example if you want to remove the opacity you can remove the opacity okay i have already uh, one image behind this so it is showing me that image if i want to increase the brightness i can input the brightness kind of things next thing is if you want to uh, change the size of your image uh, image size of your uh, you know uh, these things your generated image you can change the image size and uh, i try to change the size and i have applied okay so it will take the new size okay next thing is uh, okay it is taking some time maybe uh, 20 second or 30 second so this is a new size which i don't like it so i will not save this size uh, next is the uh, image strength image strength is like the how much uh, compatible your image you want so don't change it uh, by default it would be the 25 okay now say for example if you want to generate the another image so how you can do it so uh, simple you need to go to the profile section then create the another image by default it will select the uh, board or canvas of your last image okay and here you need to give the prompt name now i will copy this prompt and i will create it here and here i will change the filter from uh, glass to say for example cinematic okay and uh, uh, okay i want to remove some words like uh, how my image should not be so no nudity blurs okay i given some keywords no it should not include that now let us wait for the image to be ready for us it will generally take 15 to 20 seconds which is quite good because they are using high computing machines behind the scene now this is a stunning image you got it from this stable diffusion model if you want to change the model you can also change the model but uh, experiment is a good thing so you can experiment over a period of time and uh, you can get your new image so i have changed the model playground vi v1 so it has given me the result i think it is not appropriate so i will not choose the playground v1 i will choose a stable diffusion which is quite popular and uh, let us uh, hang around the different images how uh, other people are creating on this platform so another image is let me check uh, which is good uh, okay this draw landscape is quite good so let me copy the prompt it prompt is a simple landscape in a draw so let me create a new prompt called landscape in the draw use any radiant uh, glass cover any covers so let us wait for a while so it will give me the idea see this is a stunning beauty and uh, i will also try without any uh, filters no filters what it looks like so the thing is if you give the precise prompt in the tokenized word tokenized in the sense like the words 
uh, which have comma separate separated so it will give you the stunning image so every time it will give you the different image so i think uh, this will help you a lot to create the free image and uh, yeah if you want to rescale the image uh, yeah i forgot to mention you you can also do the same thing you need to go to uh, the op action options and click on the upsell by 4 by 4 so your image will be upscaled upscale in the sense it is very very useful for the drop shipment uh, business so for example if you want to print some images on the cloth or canvas then their website uh, their pixel size must be very very high dimension so in that case it will be useful so let me download this newly upscaled image so you can see the upscaled image is 13.5 it is absolutely stunning and uh, for this kind of image you need to pay the money but here you don't need to pay the money i hope you like this video thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section